Hey everyone, welcome to part two of my Replicator 5 conversion to Clipper and getting rid of all the smart extruder garbage and all that kind of stuff. So here we can see I've taken the top off and this is actually an HBOT design for the motion system, which is Core XY and HBOT are the same kinematics, but HBOT just uses a single belt, which is actually really cool. These are actually very robust nine millimeter wide belts, not six millimeter, which is really nice. So the motion system on this printer is actually quite nice. And this is why I like um, buying expensive printers that are broken, because usually they have really good motion systems. So yeah, really good motion system on this printer. I have already been printing on this, but we'll I'll show some prints and stuff like that in part three. So let's take a look at the back here and see what I've done. So I've taken off the back panel and I've mounted my SKR Mini E3 version 2 in the back, just on some VHB tape. Luckily this printer uses Moon's motors, which are very high quality and you can simply just unplug the existing cable that's here. I just bought some stepper cables off of Amazon and I plugged them back in and I ran them to my SKR. Very, very easy. A lot of room in the wiring in the back panel here, so really, really handy. Everything's relatively tidy. Um, not huge on the cable management, but um, it's all mounted nicely. And uh, I do have some zip tie points here, so lots of room to run cables, all that kind of thing. So, like I say, clippers are already installed on here. I already have a config file made. You can see the uh, hot end uh, tool head right here. This actually just mounts onto the linear rail here with two screws, which is really nice. Very easy to actually uh, take that off. So normally for anyone, this would be enough. You could mount your extruder and you can start printing. This is ready to go. However, I went one step further and I wanted to make this kind of look like a Replicator 5 um, factory. So I have the top panel over here, you can see. And I have actually mounted a three and a half inch LCD running clipper screen to my Raspberry Pi. There's a good amount of room actually in here as well. So what I'm doing is um, I'm actually gonna run my USB cable in here all the way down and out the back, as well as my power for my Raspberry Pi. Um, I would recommend if someone wants to do this mod that they try and find a three and a half inch LCD with HDMI. That would actually make this massively easier. You could just run an HDMI cable all the way out the back and have your Raspberry Pi in the back electronics bay. Um, I couldn't find one. I searched a little bit. I didn't search like crazy or anything like that. All I could find was the GPIO kind of SPI style one. So I bought these ribbon cables off of Amazon. So I can actually mount my Raspberry Pi up here. And uh, yeah, I've actually 3D printed some adapters here so I can even run the stock um, wheel. It won't do anything of course, but this thing will look pretty factory. So you can see here, you know, at first glance, this looks just like a replicator five. And uh, in part three, when I power it up, it's actually pretty cool. We'll have a clipper UI, this is a touch screen. And um, yeah, these are just dummies now. These buttons don't work or anything like that, of course. But yeah, it's going to look really neat. So yeah, that's what I've done so far. Like I say, uh, it's pretty easy to convert this printer. Um, luckily, the Moon's motors aren't hardwired. I just bought some extension cables off Amazon, plugged into my SKR, um, made a clipper config. It's pretty easy. This is just a normal Core XY printer as far as kinematics go. Um, yeah, and uh, basically... In part three, we'll be going through um, this fully assembled, up and running and printing, and I'll talk about a couple other things. Um, if anyone has any questions, please definitely comment below. I hope everyone has a happy new year. And uh, yeah, I expect to put all these STL files in my config file and stuff like that, maybe on like Thangs or GitHub or something like that for people to use. All right, everyone. Thanks again.